Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and we're going to talk about um, filling out your lab slip for your various intraoral appliances for orthodontics. I actually have videos that actually go over step-by-step -step how to fill out your lab slip. If you want to access that, you can go into my phase one or interceptive playlist, which is on my homepage of my YouTube channel. To get there, you can go to your YouTube channel, put in the space bar Straight Smile Solutions. On the homepage, I've got about 10 different playlists, um, Visalign, braces, another one is phase one. How to fill out the lab slip is on there. You're just gonna have to find it or you can look in the search feature. But the specific question is now, do we need um, to put buckle tubes or hooks? You know, like there's one here, there's not one there. Um, that's a personal preference. I mean, it really, it depends on how you're using it. Obviously, if I think there's any chance I'm gonna be putting braces on while I'm doing an appliance, even as a remote chance, I'm gonna put the buckle tubes on. I've always just asked for them on every appliance. Yes, it's a couple extra dollars, but Sometimes you don't know when you're going to need it and you're going to be super irritated the one time that you didn't have it and you needed it because now you're going to have to remake the whole thing, which is going to be 150 instead of $2, right? Also, to me, it's easier for me to band and remove, you know, with the pliers if I have something to leverage against. So they go on all mine. It's a no brainer. And as far as I know, if you ask you for buckle tubes, it usually comes because it's a molar tube. It usually comes with a hook. I don't know that they ever do the tube without the hook, but that's a question to ask your lab. I'm not really sure. So yeah, my answer would be yes, I would personally just do it. Hopefully that's helpful, thanks.